Hey, what's up, y'all? So, I wanted to talk about the Netflix movie, the new Netflix movie, Fatal Affair with Neil Long and Omar Epps. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything, but, you know, before it came out and they were um, advertising it, you know, a lot of folks were saying this is probably going to be your typical Fatal Attraction, you know, we've had those movies several times, The Perfect Guy, um, what else, um, When the Bow Breaks, The Intruder, you know, all those movies that kind of have the same themes. I will say that I am happy, um, to say that, you know, it, even though it's in that same genre, that same line, the same theme, they did switch it up a, a lot um, throughout the movie. And, of course, who doesn't want to see a movie with our classic favorites, Nia Long and Omar Epps? And I was trying to think, like, throughout the years, I'm like, did they play in a movie together? And I'm trying to think and think and think, and, of course, I could have Googled it, but I was like, it would come to me, right? And my daughter was like, wasn't it in too deep? And I was like, yes, that's right, in too deep. That was a good movie. I think that was kind of underrated. Um, but to, you know, Omar Epps, to see him play a character such as this is, is very, uh, it it broadens his um, act actor ability, I would say. Um, and Nia Long, of course, she did an excellent job. Also, Estelle is in this movie, y'all. Estelle it plays her assistant. Um, she's a lawyer. And she um, gets reacquainted with Omar Epps' character. Now, she's married to Stephen Bishop, which we came to know him from. I came to know him from Girlfriends when he played Alex Mendoza when he was dating Maya. and He was a famous baseball player. Um, so, he did a good job in this movie. And they had a daughter. I do not know her name, but she looked like they picked her out perfect that she looked like she could be Nia Long and Stephen Bishop's daughter. Um, so, yeah, guys, I would definitely recommend seeing it. Um, like I said, it's a lot of twists and turns in here that aren't in your basic movie um, of this genre. So, um, I'm trying to think, There is there anything else I want to say? It's hard not to say anything without spoiling it, but... Um, if I think of anything else, I'll put it, um, down in the comment section. Um, also, um, I think it's nice that they showed how black people can achieve a level of success. So, it's, it's just a lot of beautiful scenes and beautiful property in, uh, throughout the movie. Um, let's see, is there anything else I want to say? Oh, and it was funny because throughout the movie, I thought, you know, sometimes the movie is too short, and I'm thinking, oh, they're going to cut it off right here, but it actually kept going, so, uh, the time length on this movie was great. Um, yeah, y'all. Trying to think, is there anything else I want to tell you guys about this movie? I guess the only thing I can tell you guys about this movie is that you should see it. Um, I would definitely give it a, I'd say a B plus, a B plus. Because, like I said, you know, it's not an original, it's not, you know, it's the same, it's kind of like the same same uh theme um but they like i said they did twist it up a bit so if you guys saw fatal affair let me know what you thought down in the comments and um you guys have a happy friday y'all take care